So, uh, William Holborn wanted to purchase these spoons. He has a mad passion for silver spoons in particular. And he heard of these apostle spoons going for sale. And unfortunately, Robert Walker also wanted the spoons and he bought them. So, William was so upset and sensed by the whole thing that uh, he called Mr. Walker a thief. And Mr. Walker gave him a stiff blow on the nose, which caused a great quantity of blood. I am called captain, sir, by all the coffee men, drawers and groom porters in London, for I wear a red coat, a sword and a hat beyond trousset, a martial twist in my cravat, a fierce knot on my periwig, a cane upon my button, PK in my head and dice in my pocket.
Friday. From eight to nine, shifted a patch for half an hour before I could determine it. Fixed it above my left eyebrow. From nine to twelve, drank my tea and dressed. From twelve till two, at chapel, a great deal of good company. From six to eleven, at Bassett, never set again upon the ace of diamonds. Eight till ten, drank two dishes of chocolate in bed and fell asleep.
Hello everybody, my name is Louise Campion and I work at the Holborn Museum in Bath. Um, the film is a creative collaboration. It's involved over 50 people, uh, creative people all over Bath and the surrounding areas. Um, and this project really comes from our Pathways to Wellbeing programme, which is a creative wellbeing programme which supports people um, who might have experienced mental health issues um, to explore their creativity. And it's run across museums and art galleries in Bath. And since lockdown, we haven't been able to run these groups and uh, we were very conscious that we wanted to keep connected. So we decided to start an online uh, Wednesday group and we opened it up to everybody because um, we don't have to worry about the space or the, the room size. And since that time, over eight weeks ago, we've, we have over 150 people who regularly log in and engage with our weekly activities, which is really exciting. And this particular film came out of the uh, provocation that we sent out to show us your spoons. The reason we focused on spoons is because the Holborn collection, William Holborn's collection, is full of spoons. He loved spoons. Um, and you'll see in the film there is, there is some footage of, of some of those spoons that he loved so much. Spoons are so universal. We all use them every day. We touch them, we look at them, and so it seemed perfect that at this, this time we picked a, a ordinary domestic object to elevate. We have had lots and lots of beautiful videos and images that we have used um, to, to bring together into this really exciting piece. And we've been delighted to be working with Nikki Jewett, filmmaker, on this project. And I want to ask Nikki, um, how have you found working um, on this on this collaboration. Hi Louise, thank you for that. Um, it's been a huge pleasure working with the Hoban on this project. We thought maybe we'll try and make a virtual installation so that people could experience all these different spoons in, in the context of a house, but that meant we had to work out how to get all these films, all these spoons into films and then together into a virtual installation. So that's been my um, role. It was really amazing to see all the different types of spoon that were coming in with people um, creating things from scratch, people using spoons that they loved. The spoons that people sent in, some of them told stories about things that really touch their lives. Others were just a beautiful celebration of the spoon that they loved. Um, some of them show us how spoons are used and some of them are, are just like weird surreal spoons. It was quite eerie going into the Hoban to get those little joining pieces that kind of embedded it a bit in the Hoban and made us feel connected to the Hoban um, and not having any people in there and feeling a little bit sad about the fact that none of you guys were there, no people were there. So it was then rather lovely to be then assembling all these films that kind of brought the essence of the people who are there and the guys who come to the art group and and every everybody who's kind of engaged with it it made it feel like we were dealing with a whole load of people even though you weren't there I and mean, this is a timely a, a time that we will look back we'll look back at this film and remember this time as unusual 
special, things have come out of it that we wouldn't have expected and uh, unique. And it was quite a challenge to make something that felt like a, a flow through that you could follow. My job was to work on a on creating a journey through a house, some kind of mixed up funny old house that kind of even had aspects of the Hoban in it. So um, yes, you'll see um, this, this interesting journey um, exploring spoons from far and wide in, in a virtual house. So I hope you enjoy it. Thank you, Nikki. Um, you've done an amazing job at bringing us all together from all our kitchens, bedrooms, sitting rooms, um, bringing everybody together into one place to be in the House of Spoons.